Hello, welcome to my first vlog of 2023. Today we're chatting about goals, business goals, art goals. It's a very chatty vlog. <laughs> I just thought it would be fun to let you know what I'm thinking about this year. Don't hold me to anything too hard because we all know we fall off of our New Year's resolutions. But going into 2023, this is what I am thinking is gonna happen. So here we go. I thought I would be able to just like rattle them off because I've talked about them quite a few times with different people, but I can't. So I need to go get my iPad. Here we are and it's not dead. Within this last year, 2022, I did a lot of painting large, which I was really scared to do because, you know, large work equals higher price tag, which means scare yourself because you don't know if it will. <laughs> I'm very lucky to have a collector base that is looking for large work and I did not know that, but I was able to paint large a lot last year and sell a lot of large pieces last year. So I definitely want to continue doing that in 2023. I also started doing a new thing since I was painting large where I released paintings individually, which was very new also because I was taught as many other people are taught to release in collections, but I was having a few issues with that. One being I hate monotony and like schedules and the rhythm of releasing a collection, making prints, releasing a print collection. Repeat was not doing it for me. So last year I decided to change that up and release individually. The second reason I did that was because when I offered my first collection in 2023, it was a mix of large and small pieces and I actually had a lot of people reaching out about the large pieces to see if they could purchase them right away, which had never been a thing before. But I was like, maybe I shouldn't be making people wait. If they want to purchase this art right now, why am I telling them no? That kind of led into that. So this year, I want to keep releasing that way, but with a little bit of a twist. I want to have a bigger variety this year to serve collectors at every price point, every spatial size. And so this year I am going to offer smaller work, but I'm going to offer the small works in collections. And so that will allow me to work within a theme for the small work and launch it all at once. Next goal, YouTube. Um, I put on here publish weekly in parentheses ish videos. I know myself and I know that if I say I'm going to post a video at this on this day, well, I almost fell. <laughs> I know myself and I know if I say I'm going to post a video on this day at this time every week, it's not going to happen. That's just, it's not me. I also don't want to post a video just for the sake of posting a video. I want to have something at least interesting to show you or talk about. So I'm not going to force it. Um, but around the week, maybe every two weeks ish, you could expect something new from me because along with the YouTube goal is to get monetized. Obviously my channel is brand new right now. I get nothing. So this is just for fun and it's cool to show you behind the scenes. So I enjoy it, but if it could be monetized, you know, that's always a plus. And I don't know if that's like a realistic goal for a year. I don't really know how any of this works but it's on there, it's on the list, and I think it would be cool if it happened. When I finish a new painting, there's always a lot of excitement around it, like from me, from collectors, and there's only one original. Instead of saying, oh, the original sold, you have to wait like a month or more now until prints are available, I don't wanna do that anymore. Um, so I'm gonna try my hardest to release them at the same time. Business-wise, I hear a lot from like business courses and stuff that I've taken, art business courses, that it's not the best to release an original and a print at the same time because, you know, if there's a print, why are people gonna buy the original? I don't believe that at all. People who want an original painting want the original and people who want a print want a print. So I want everybody to be able to celebrate in the excitement and if they want the art, whether it's a print version or the original version, I think it'd be so cool to be able to get it on that launch date, like when the piece is available. 
So I'm gonna try super hard to do that. But the next goal is to have double of what I need monthly. That may not make sense right off the bat. But what I mean by that is, for example, if I wanna make $2,000 a month from original paintings, I need to have like $4,000 worth of paintings available, which kind of seems obvious, but for some reason, that's not something I thought about at all last year. It is very, very unlikely that if I paint $2,000 worth of paintings and expect to sell 100% of that, it's probably not gonna happen. And these are just example numbers, but like, that's something really good to keep in mind is that I need to have more options available on my website. Last year, things sold out relatively quickly, which is the most amazing problem to have, of course. That potential for income decreased because I just didn't have enough stuff available. So I wanna paint more this year, both for the income and just because I'm an artist, that's what I do. I wanna not worry about other business stuff as much and just like paint and make my original studio work. And then lastly, the most vague goal of them all, I would like to create one new source of income, preferably passive or semi-passive. What's it gonna be? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, okay, I've thought of a few different things. We could do a gift shop, which usually I do a gift shop around the holidays and it's just open like November, December. What if I had products that were available all year? Mm -hmm. Don't know what they're gonna be, but maybe. What if I offer some classes? Which is something I have wanted to do for a long time. You heard me talk a lot about it last year, if you were here last year, and I started to do it and then I stopped. <laughs> the problem with classes is they take a long time to put together and I love the idea of it, and I love the idea of teaching what I know about painting, of helping other people to be creative and learn new skills, but it takes so much time. You have to have like an allotted amount of time to make a class or a course, and I always get distracted. Maybe this will be the year. I'm not promising anything, but it has been on my list of maybes for the last two years, so. I want to make good art this year. I want to be able to sell some of it and I want to be happy. Is that too much to ask? No, I think it'll happen. Anyway, these are my goals for 2023. As always, thank you for being here. Thank you for following along with my little studio. And I look forward to making more videos very soon. I hope you had happy holidays and have the best new year ahead. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye.